Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tan Investing. Today we will look at, look at May 25th, 2021 updates. So Canada's main index rose on Tuesday, which is today, drawing the support from energy stocks that tracked a rise in the crude oil prices as the prospect of Iran glut won want um, while the reopening of economy raised summer demand hopes. Around 9.07 a.m. Toronto Stock Exchange uh, index rose about 152.56 points, which is about 0.78%. It's at 19,679.86. Future for Canadian main stock index rose, tracking the Wall Street futures as the inflation worries eased. European shares were higher, soothed the reassurance from Federal Reserve official that monetary stimulus won't be clawed back anytime soon. The Asian shares ended up in green. The US dollar fell while the spot gold prices inched up. Oil prices slipped as the expectation of any yearly return of oil exporter Iran to international crude uh, market warned. So the analyst uh, recommendation, the Algonquin Power and Utility Corp credit sues cut price target to $16.50 from $17.50, citing the company's screw of capital towards its regulated utility business. Borax Inc. credit sues cut the price uh, target from to $43 from $48, citing concerns over renewable developers' ability to maintain co competitive advantage given to the capital flows into the sector. Euro Co Copper Corp, CIBC raised the price target to 33.5 from $28, saying that COVID-19 economy recovery continued to support the copper prices. Energex Energy um, Renewable Energy Inc. Credit Sue's cut price target to $26 from $30 after the company suffered a significant impact on the extreme Texas weather. North Power Corporation credit sues cut the price target to $54 from $56, reflecting on company's long-term strategy. So the only one that has gone up would be the Borax. No, no, not even the Borax. Um, Euro Copper. And now we will look at the top five gainers. So Shopify went up by $25.72. That's about $1.75. Percent. You can look at the volume, it's at 41.4K. 52 weeks low is 943.74. 52 weeks high is $1,900.58. The market cap is $183.30. CSU has gone up by $20.24. It's about 1.15%. The uh, volume on that is 6.1K. The market 52 weeks low is $1,366.66. Uh, 52 weeks high is $1,921.78. The market cap is $37.3 billion. The next one is uh, Toromont uh, Industrials, uh, TIH. It's trading at $106.27. It went up by $3.90, so 3.81%. 124.2K is the volume. The 52 weeks low is $63.47. It's very close to the 52 weeks high, $106.64. Lightspeed LSPD, it's trading at $88.56, which is about $3.59 more, percentage-wise 4.23%. Uh, its uh, volume is 536.6K. Its uh, $28 is the 52 weeks low. $104.98 is 52 weeks high, $11.2 billion. GOESI GSY, $148.70. It's gone up by $3.42. Percentage is 
the volume is 48.3K. The 52-week low is $50.35. 52 weeks high is $157.44. It's uh, $2.4 billion. The next one that we will look at is the top five losers. So CargoJet CJT, it's at $179.71. It dropped about $3.29. Sense, uh, about 1.8 percent, and um, the volume is 35.6. 52 weeks low is 125.18. 52 weeks high is 250.01. 3.2 billion. The next one is Finning International uh, FTT, $30.57. The uh, dropped about $1.83. Percentage Y 5.65%. Uh, 52 weeks low is $17.17. .17. 52 weeks high is $35. Market cap is 5.3%. It does provide you a dividend of 2.54%. Magna also dropped. It's trading at $115.89. Uh, change is about $1.58 lower. Percentage wise, 1.35%. 52 weeks um, low is $54.06. 52 weeks high is $123.50. The volume is 185K. Market cap is 35.2. It does provide you a dividend of 1.8%. Intact uh, financial, it's trading at 158.86. It's down about $1.21, 0.76%. The volume is 51.2K. The 52 weeks low is 123.78. 52 weeks high is 167.81. The market cap is 22.9 billion. It does provide you a dividend of 2.08. And the other one is RBA. It's trading at $73.74. It's dropped about 95 cents. And the percentage is 1.27. The volume is 30.6K. 52 weeks low is $52.97. 52 weeks high is 101.93. It does have a market cap of $8.3 billion and the dividend is 1.43%. I hope um, I did not upload these videos a little bit too late, uh, but um, I hope you enjoy my update. If you do, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. It would really help my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye.